Washington, D.C., and all 50 states are preparing for what could be could be violent protests this weekend ahead of Wednesday's inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. Just 10 days ago, violent rioters breached the U.S. Capitol, raising questions about law enforcement's preparation and response. As chatter grows about the potential for armed protests in state capitals on Sunday, many states have activated National Guard troops. In D.C., the capital is heavily fortified and thousands of National Guard members are in place. The National Mall is closed. Keep refreshing this page for updates on security and protests from across the U.S. D.C. police and the FBI are asking the public for help identifying a man that attacked a Capitol Police officer in a video of the January 6 riot that went viral. During the insurrection at the United States Capitol, the suspect assaulted and used a clear police shield to pin MPD officer Daniel Hodges in a door jam, says a press release published Friday by the Metropolitan Police Department. The viral video showed Hodges, 32, screaming in pain as he was simultaneously crushed in a doorway and beat by the crazed mob, including with his own baton. He later told reporters he thought he was going to die. In an interview with the local DCNBC affiliate, Hodges said, if it wasn't my job, I would have done that for free. It was absolutely my pleasure to crush a white nationalist insurrection, we'll do it as many times as it takes. Photos of the suspect were included in the release, and posted on Twitter. The public is advised to call police if they have any information, and a reward is being offered. Go in depth, why the National Guard's absence at Capitol riots shows lack of preparation, distrust after heavy-handed BLM response. A federal judge in Washington on Friday night halted a plan to release and put on house arrest the Arkansas man photographed sitting at a desk in House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office during last week's riot at the U.S. Capitol. Richard Barnett will instead be brought to Washington, D.C., immediately for proceedings in his case. Chief U.S. District Judge Beryl Howell ordered Friday night, staying a decision by another judge to confine Barnett to his home in Gravette, Arkansas, until his trial. Howell's ruling came hours after U.S. Magistrate Judge Aaron Weedman in Arkansas set a $5,000 bond for Barnett and ordered that a GPS monitor track his location. Weedman also prohibited Barnett from using the internet or having contact with anyone else who participated in the January 6 violence. A Dallas-area real estate agent who is facing charges for allegedly being part of the Capitol riot said she's a normal person who listened to her president. Jenna Ryan, 50, is accused of, knowingly, entering or remaining in the restricted building or grounds without lawful authority and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds on Jan.